Hi, Verbling users. It is your teacher, Lauren, here. Um, this is my third Verbling class, so hopefully we have some fun today. Hi, Andre. Hi, again. You're back. <laughs> yes, always. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still have technical difficulties sometimes, so bear with me. Glad to see you again, Andre. Me too. Hi, Elena and Nicholas and Sergio. Hi. Um, so today, this is a this is a class that we're going to learn how to order food. Um, but first, please read. Please make sure that you don't have any background noise. So if you are making noise, please make sure that your headphones are on and make sure that, um, that nobody around you is making too much noise. Okay. Can you hear me? We're all good? Great. Okay, first, um, Andre, I know I already asked you, but just to give you another opportunity. Um, to speak. First, I would like everyone to tell me something. Um, first, your name, where you are from, and tell me something that is a very common food that you eat in your culture. So, I am from Canada, and we eat lots of uh, hamburgers. <laughs> we eat lots and lots of hamburgers. Okay, so tell me something about where, what you eat in your home country. So, Andre, you can go first. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Andre. Uh, I'm from Brazil. And uh, we, are, uh, we eat uh, rice and beans. Oh, in our, rice and beans. Yes, in our so meat. So uh, meat. good. So good. I love rice and beans. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. Welcome. Um, okay, and next, who would like to go next? Oh gosh. What happened? Again. <laughs> the Google Hangout isn't working very well. Hi. The teacher is frozen. Yes. What happened? <laughs> the, the Google Hangout, it's a six. Now you are the teacher. Yeah, the teacher go go away. This is a big problem, no? Yes. Now it's free class. <laughs> okay, just freestyle. Freestyle. <laughs> Come back, teacher, please. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Houston, we have a problem. Yes. What do you like to eat?
a little Portuguese. Oh, hello, teacher! You are you are back. <laughs> Welcome again. I don't listen. Uh, teacher, you are, mute yourself. Your voice is. No. You are mute. Gotcha. Okay, I'm back now, right? Teacher, welcome. <laughs> Yay! Okay, um, sometimes if you're new to Verbling, like me, <laughs> Google um, sometimes uh, kicks you out of a Hangout if your internet uh, gets a little, um, gets bad. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, okay, we already spoke to Andre. Um, and by the way, I'd like to say I could hear what you were saying because I went to the Verbling website. And you all did fabulously. You were freestyling. Yes. It was great. I think it was, Elena, you said, what does everybody eat? <laughs> That's so good. If that ever happens, use the class to, to, uh, as an extra learning communication experience. Yes. We are, we are to be sociable. To be sociable. You are. You are being sociable. That's exactly yes. it. Everybody. You were... Being sociable. Sociable. So, yes. Um, Elena, why don't you tell us where you're from and what kind of food you like? I'm from Argentina, and the famous uh, meal here is uh, Milanesa. Milanesa? You know? No, yes. what's that? It's meat with bread and egg. Meat with bread and egg. Uh, like an... with, with, with flour. Yes? Uh, it's fr uh, you can fry them. You can or fry it? Cook in the uh, horno. Mm, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, great. Thank you. And Julian. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. What is, uh, where are you from and what is your uh, favorite food from where you're from? I, I am from Colombia. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the tra uh, traditional food uh, we eat here are... Oh, Julian, we, we can't hear you anymore. Hello. Hi, okay. Uh, can oh. you hear me? Now I can. Go ahead. Uh, and we we eat here uh, a traditional food that that uh, name arepa. Arepa? Uh -huh, yes. It's a, um, it's a, it's a kind of of bread or uh, bread of corn. Oh, like uh, is it called cornbread here? Uh, but it's no. Uh, don't have levadura. Levadura. I I I want to say. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, it's something that has corn, and I like corn, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Julian. And Kubra. Oh, sorry. Uh... I'm Kubra, sorry, uh, that's hello. okay. Where are you from? Uh, from Turkey. From Turkey. And what is the name of your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is uh, pizza. I like so pizza. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And, uh, well, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julianne. Oh, sorry, Kubra. Thank you, Kubra. <laughs> and you're welcome. And uh, let's go to Nicolas. Hi, Nicolas. Oh, Nicolas, we can't hear you. Maybe you're muted. Oh, now, 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 now we're good. Uh, my name is Nicolas, and I'm from Argentina. Great. And my favorite uh, breakfast uh, or Food is, I think, is the the asado, or I think I think uh, that uh, in in there uh, it's called barbecue. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. 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 Yep, that's right. Yep. Yes. Good. Thank you so much, Nick. Is it? Do you like Nick or Nicholas? 
Nicholas. 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 Okay. Nicholas. Yes. And um, prancing pony. <laughs> Who's prancing pony? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Is that your name? <laughs> no, no. But the name is uh, very, very fun. It is. I agree. We'll call you Prancing Pony for today. <laughs> <laughs> I, my name is Shafi. Your name is what? Shafi. Uh, how do you Shafi. spell that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can you put it in the chat? Uh, okay. Shafi. Almost got it. Oh, Shafie. Shafie. Shafie, like that. Okay, Shafie. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll try to re remember. But if I call you Prancing Pony, I hope that's okay. <laughs> okay. And tell me, what is your favorite uh, food from where you're from? Where are you from? I'm oh, from Sudan. You're from Sudan? Yeah. Great. And what's a common food that you have there? Uh, uh, fruits. That's mm. healthy. Fruits, Very healthy. Vegetables. Vi mm hmm Good. Oh. Good. Thank you. I don't know. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you, Chefier. Okay. Shafi, no Shafi. Sha. Shafi. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Shafi. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay, Shafi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, moving on to Razal. Hi, teacher. Hi, Razal. My Rizal. name is Razal, and yeah. Good. I'm Very from fun. Albany, New York. Sorry, one more time. Albany, New York. Great. You're from so you're from New York. And uh, yeah, I'm living in Albany, New York, and I am originally from subcontinent. Uh huh. Uh, in Indian subcontinent, and uh, I I like rice. Rice, good, good. Rice is good, and you know yeah. I love going for Indian food. When I go to an Indian restaurant, I love the rice. Indian Indian cooks have the best rice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Thank you, Razal. And let's move on to Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Great. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm from. My name is Sergio, and I'm from Brazil. And uh, of course, the most popular. Dish here is beef, uh, beans and rice. Mm -hmm, yeah, uh, followed, like Andre said. Followed, of course, a big beef. Yeah? You know. <laughs> Pardon me. Followed well, uh, a compromise with uh, big beef. Oh, beef, beef. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, that would be really good. That would. I. I you guys are making me hungry. One star. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and Vincente. Vincente, how is your background noise? Well, I think it's better. It's better. A little better? Good. Um, Vincente, maybe if you move your microphone down, if we can see your mouth talking, um, it might be easier for us to understand with the background noise. Good. Good. Okay, and what is your favorite? Uh, you were from, where are you from again? Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil. Okay, so a lot. We have Brazil. So Andre and Sergio and Vincente are from Brazil. And what kind of food are you also into? Beans and rice. Yes, I like eating feijoada picada. It's a typical dish in Brazil. Sorry, can you speak a little louder? The name is feijoada. Be, how do you say that? Oh, okay. 
Okay, great. Hey, oh, go on. I also like eating pizza and spaghetti. Oh, yeah. I know. We should all have a pizza party. <laughs> um, is it anyone's first time on Verbling? Anyone's first time on Verbling? That's no? Okay, so for those of you who don't really know um, how to get to where you're going, you are going to go to your left and you're going to look for um, Google Drive. Can you see Google Drive? Yes. That, you know what, for some reason I can't really... Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Andre, how did you add Google Drive? Yes. How did you do that? Uh, in other class, the teacher add Google Drive and I accept. Oh, so wait, because before you did that, I couldn't see my Google Drive. I have so, one. So what did you do? Did you... The, hmm. oh, it's... the, other, the other teacher uh, put the Google Drive in the screen, and the, the Google asked me, asked me if I wanted to add in my, in my screen. Oh, okay, so another teacher. Which... Which uh, which teacher gave you that? Do you remember? Uh, Hina. Hina. Are you saying that you oh. want to add Google Drive in the strip? Yeah. Oh, it's uh, it's simple. It's simple. Just click. Oh, thanks, Rizal. Just click the uh, bottom, and uh, you will see the Add Apps. Yes. And it oh. is in the Add, the add Apps. More so view more apps and then Add Apps. Gotcha. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much, both of you. You can, you can also add YouTube yeah, okay. and also Google Toolbox and blah, blah, blah. Right, because I was wondering, I didn't see the YouTube, and I know I want to use that eventually. Yeah. Okay, so everyone go to the left side of your screen, and you're going to see Google Drive. So click on Google Drive, and you're going to go click on March 14th, ordering at a restaurant. I have a lot of pictures because I know some of you, if you are beginners, it might be, um, you might not know the differences between a lot of these things. So we're going to do some role playing. Okay, can everyone see that? No. Elena, you can't see it? Yes. Oh, you can. Who said no? Oh, yes. No, I, I see now. Oh, but Andre, Andre, you do see it now, right? No, uh, it's okay now. You're good. Okay, so, um, let's start at the top here. So, when you go to a restaurant, let's say one day you come and you visit Canada, or you visit the United States, or you visit anywhere where they speak English. Okay. Okay. This is the things we're going to go over today. So, first, you're going to learn to make a reservation. What does it mean to make a reservation? To, does anyone know? Yeah, uh, to reserve a table for you. Exactly. Thanks, Andre. That's what it is. So, you call the restaurant and you, you ask them to save a table for you. But first, um, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to uh, talk about how to order a traditional Canadian or American breakfast because I know that our breakfast um, it might be the very similar or very different from the places that you live. Yeah. Uh, I was in the United States last month. Oh yeah? Yes, in California. Oh, that's great. Where in California? In LA? Uh, yeah, San Diego in Los Angeles. Oh, that's awesome. And what did you do there? Uh, to study English. You did? Oh, good. Yes. That's great. And the, I, I ate a typical American breakfast. Yeah, and what was in it? Uh, scrambled eggs and the bacon. Good. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So maybe yes. instead today, when you order your meal, you can try Eggs Benedict. Now, the reason I put that on there is because it's also very common. So you have your traditional breakfast which means a very common meal, 
And then you have your eggs benedict, which is something that I'll explain what that is. Okay, and then number four, we're going to talk about other very common breakfast foods if you come to Canada or the United States or somewhere that speaks English. And then I'm going to tell you how to modify your meal. So I'm just going to put that in the chat here. Modify means to change. You see that? So if you're going to modify your meal, you are changing something so to make the meal better for you. So I just put that in the chat for those of you um, who haven't seen that word before. And then number six, we're going to try ordering a meal. So <clears throat> I'll explain this and then I'll get two people to pretend to be the hostess and the person who says mm -hmm. you, or the person who is called you. So <laughs> making a reservation. To make a reservation, you call a restaurant in advance, which means before you go to the restaurant, to ask them to reserve a table for you. It might sound something like this. So maybe I can get Elena yeah. and Nicholas to, uh, to do this. So Elena, you can pretend to be the hostess. The hostess is somebody who works at a restaurant and who picks up the phone and works at the front of the restaurant. And Nicholas, you can be the person that's called you. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, you can start anytime. Hello, and uh, thank you for calling the Pickle Barrel. Oh, can you put your volume up there, Elena? A little bit, or just closer? That's good. One more time. Hello, and thank you for calling the Pickle Barrel. Hello, uh, I would like to make a reservation for four people for 6 p.m. on Friday. Great, see you then. Thank you. Good, so that's exactly what you do. Every time, just remember to say, so you see how Nicola said a reservation for how many people, for what time, I'm sure it's the same in every country, but that's just how it sounds in English. So, uh, hi there. Oh, you, go on. Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, that's okay. I want to have a question. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, making a reservation, uh, I, uh, for example, I book a, a, a table. Uh, can we say? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's another good way of doing it. Oh, so, okay. Kubra is saying, can you ask to book a table? And that is exactly the same thing as, can I make a reservation? So if you call and you say, hi, can I please book a table for four people at 6 yeah, o'clock uh, p.m. on Friday? More kind. Uh, more kind or uh, which uh, is uh, m more uh, kinder? You know uh, what? They're both the exact same. Neither one is more or less polite. They're both the same. Uh, yeah, polite, polite, I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, so thank you for that question. So I said, mm -hmm. or if you do not make a reservation, when you arrive to your restaurant, you can tell the hostess or waiter, um, Prancing Pony, maybe you can read that out for us. Mm -mm. Yeah. So what would you say if you did not make a reservation and you just got to the restaurant? The hostess is uh, going to look at you. And what do you say? Maybe can I can I book a table, please? Uh, I I uh, I can say. Uh, am I yeah. right? Yeah. So um, see more, down. Uh, uh, yeah. You you can just say I would like a table. So if you do not make a reservation and you walk right into the restaurant and you're ready to eat, you just say table for four, please. Or, I would like a table for four, please. Or, table for five. Or, however many people you have. Does that oh. make sense? Okay. Okay, so, Nicholas, uh, um, okay. let's say, let's say um, you wanted to make a reservation and you called the person. What would you say to them? Uh, what? what uh, uh, can you repeat? Sure. So, if you were to call 
the restaurant, what would you say to them? Just uh, again. Uh, hello, uh, I would like to make a, re a reservation for four or six person for yep. an, an hour determined. Perfect, perfect. So you would just tell them whatever time and whatever, whatever you want. So that's great. So yes. now we know how to make a reservation. Any questions about that? No. We're all good? Great. Now, the next part, let's scroll down to how to order a traditional breakfast in Canada and USA. Scramble eggs. So you can see these pictures. These are all the different ways that we, we call our eggs, different ways that they're cooked. And you see here it says, most common breakfast that you'll get, right, in the States or in Canada, you're going to get four things. You're going to get eggs, meat, toast, and home fries. So you can see the different pictures. So um, maybe we can get Razal. Razal? Yes. Razal, so... What is the difference between, I'm just trying to get you to use the, your English, so what's the difference between sunny side up and a fried egg? A fried egg is uh, more like a more fried and uh, how can yes. I explain it? <laughs> but I know, I'm just, trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to get you to practice explaining difficult things. <laughs> It's yellow, it's yolk, it's uh, more uh, fried. Yes, exactly. And so, the sunny side is like uh, uh, yolk is uh, uh, on the upper, up, uh, upper, upper side of the proteinaceous or white part. Exactly, exactly. So if you don't want your egg cooked a lot and you like it to look like a sunny side up egg, you tell them, the sunny side because the yolk is yellow. So we say sunny, sunny side because it's like the sun in the sky, right? So sunny side up. Then the next one is poached. So poached means that you are cooking it normally with no oil, right? So poached is like a, an egg made in water, for example. Okay, and the next kinds of meat. So if you're getting meat at a restaurant, at a breakfast restaurant, it's almost always pork. So if you don't eat pork, I'm going to teach you how to, like for example, I don't eat pork, so I always make a substitute. I always substitute, but I'll explain what that is in a few minutes. So um, pork is, uh, for those of you who don't know, pork is just pig, right? Pig meat. So let's, who have I not talked to yet? So Julianne, Julianne, are you there? Hi. Okay. Yes, I, I am here. Good. So if you were to try to describe to me, just to try to get you to practice English, what's the difference between uh, regular bacon and sausages? Uh, ba bacon is uh, a kind of meat, uh, and sausages is a embutido. Uh, I, I, I don't say embutido. I don't say in English. It's That's a, okay. This this salsa is a it's a kind of a skin the skin of the pork, fried. Right. Yeah. Or I am wrong. No no no. You know what? That's good. I just wanted you to get some practice trying to describe things that you know nobody's asked you to describe before. <laughs> so that's true. <laughs> Right? Bacon is just the meat, but sausage means the meat has been processed. So sausages. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Yes? Good. And then there's toast. So you'll always be asked, what kind of toast would you like? So you can choose white bread, brown bread, or rye bread. Sometimes the rye bread is dark brown. Okay? So maybe now I can get um, Sergio and Razal. So Sergio, I'm sorry, but can you be the waitress? <laughs> yes? Okay, everything for English, Lauren. Uh, One more time? 
Okay, everything for learning English. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so I asked Sergio if he could be the girl, and he says, "Fine, anything that's it. that will help me with English." You know, Sergio, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Sergio, you'll be the waitress, and Rizal, you can read out the one that says "you." Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, Sergio, you start. Okay. Hi there. What can I get for you? Hello. <laughs> no, I, it's a uh, no. Sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Can I please have eggs sunny side up with bacon and white toasts? Sure. Come here up. <laughs> wow, Sergio, your oh. acting skills are amazing. Wow. Yeah. Um, you are you are hired. You're hired. <laughs> So you can see in the picture to the right, you can see that, right? How that's what it would look like if you ordered those kind of eggs, those bacon and that white toast. Do you have that in your in the countries that you live in? Do you see that a lot? Yep. You do? Not for Yep. Food, for breakfast. Eggs, Not, uh, actually, right. I like to eat eggs in the breakfast and the sunny side, like you explained. <laughs> Good. Did you know they were called sunny side? No, I did not know. I heard it first time. Good, good. So I'm really glad because you should try to save this to your computer because this explains what if what the different kinds are. So when you order breakfast in in uh, somewhere an English restaurant, you will have to know all of these different things. So you'll have to say, "Can I have here? You know, whatever combination you like." So let's quickly go through. Mm -hmm. Uh, just quickly, and you can each tell me what you would get. If actually, I don't want to run out of time. So first, I'll take you through it, and then you'll start ordering your breakfast. So let's go down to eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. This is just a very popular thing, very very common that you'll see here in Canada. So that is an English muffin. You can see up here. Um, maybe we can get um, um, Andre. Will you just read what eggs Benedict are? Yes, sure. Uh, eggs Benedict, another popular Canadian breakfast option. Eggs Benedict in an English muffin with pimo bacon, two poached eggs, and hollandaise sauce. Good. Sauce. Good. So I'm sure none of you know what those words mean, right? <laughs> That's okay. So pea meal. Can you say that word again? Pea meal. Pea meal. Pea meal. Pea meal. That's right. Keep one more time. Pea meal. Pea meal. That is a different kind of bacon. So if you scroll up a little bit and you see here, you see on the left you see meat. And then if you go over, so you, if ev is everyone looking at the chart, the chart with the meat pictures? You can see that there's bacon, then there's pea meal bacon, and then there's sausage. So if anybody ever gives you Eggs Benedict, you know it's coming with pea meal bacon, which looks like that. Okay? Hollandaise sauce is just a really good, tasty sauce. So they just put it on your eggs and your uh, bacon. And an English muffin is just a kind of bread. So it's like a little bun, a little bun. Any questions about that? No. OK. Can you say this word for me? Can you say that word, Andre? Yes, uh, poached. So that is pronounced poached. 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 Uh, so uh, try to just make the CH sound and the D sound one sound. Because in okay. English we make them one. So instead of it saying poached, it's just poached. Poached. Good. Much better. I heard Elena. Can you say that for me? Elena? Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Poached. Good, good. And was that uh, Kubra I heard saying that as well? Uh, poached. 
good. That's that was exactly it. It sounds I almost sounds like oh one second sounds like hope. Do you see that? It sounds like there's a T at the end almost. Yes, Sergio. Sergio, did you have a question? No, it's okay. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, um, Vincente, you have a question. Okay. Yeah, uh, just to make to to be sure about this word, uh, this called poached po po mean uh, fried with no oil. Um, hmm, I didn't really understand your question. Can you repeat that one more time? I'd like to know uh, about the meaning of the word poached better. So poached eggs are made in water most of the time. So it's like if you drop, if you take an egg and you break it into water, into boiling water. That's how you cook a poached it's, egg. Poached. Yeah, it's simply called boiled boiled egg in our part. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I forgot to tell you. There's also there's also hard boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing this in the chat. So hard boiled eggs, they're boiled in the shell. Poached eggs are boiled outside of the shell. So before you put it in the water, you break the shell. Okay, that's a difference. Um, yeah. I got it. I so poached the eggs are put in the water outside of the shell. No shell. Does that make sense? We know the difference? Yes. Um, it's very it's healthier to have hard boiled or poached because uh, they don't gener they normally don't use any oil. So if you're trying to make a healthy choice, there's one. Let's keep going down. Pancakes. Who's had pancakes before? Everyone. Who's had pancakes? No. Okay. Pancakes are a very common Canadian food. Um, basically, they are pieces of kind of like bread or dough or kind of like a pastry and you put uh, butter, some butter on it and some maple syrup. Do you know what maple syrup is? Uh, honey. Pardon me? Uh, I, I saw uh, honey, the, the people put honey in the pancake. Yeah, some, sometimes they put honey, but often um, it's maple syrup, which comes from maple trees. Mm. And it's really, really good. It's uh, very, very, very common in Canada. Um, but first we put butter on them. So this is kind of like a very sweet and filling breakfast. So if you're really hungry, sometimes the pancakes, these are called pancakes. So if you think of a pan, you know a pan that you cook things in? A uh, cooking pan and then cakes. So they're very, very easy to, very, very easy to make. Um, any questions about that? No? Good. And now we have an omelette. I know that most of you should, might be familiar with an omelette, right? Yeah, it's worldwide famous. <laughs> Pardon me, Reza? What was that? I think it's, it's worldwide famous omelette. I agree. I agree. So we don't need to t explain an omelette too much. Um, but what you would need to do is learn how to say all the, the vegetables and cheese and things that you like inside of your omelette. So if you say, I'll have an omelet, you would say, I'll have an omelet with, with tomatoes and green peppers and onions and cheese, please, or whatever you like in your omelet. Okay? Mm. And now you're moving down. Uh, cereal. I think that uh, this is common as well for all of you. Cereal is just anything dry that you drink, that you eat with milk. Is that common in other places in the world? No? No? Yes. no yeah. Really? Yes. Julia, yes. it is for you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. It, it's hmm. very common. Here, 
Yeah. Yes. Okay, I was just curious. So, um, maybe we can get um, who uh, prancing pony? Can you? Read to us, how do you modify your meal? And what does modify mean again? Prancing uh, pony? Mean? Yeah. What does modify mean? Change. To change? Yep, exactly. Exactly, that's right. Good team effort. Okay. Yep, so, sorry, I didn't mean to say prancing pony. It's Shafi. Shafi, Shafi yeah. Shafi, sorry. So, uh, Shafi, um, can you start reading at modifying your meal? I speak little English, very little. That's okay. You can try reading this a little bit. Ah, okay. To modify your meal means to change it in some way. For example, you might want to sub substitute good exchange exchange as the home first in the tradi uh, traditional breakfast with the fruit or you might want to have a salad inside uh, of first of first uh, with the hamburger good thank you that's good and um um, Shafi, don't worry about not knowing a lot of English. That's why we have verb links, so you can get practice, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. we all, we're all on your team. <laughs> um, okay, okay. you're welcome. So, that means that if, let's say, for example, let's say that uh, Kubra, let's say Kubra, is there something in that meal that you didn't like? Um, uh, I don't like, uh, I'm thinking, uh, but sometimes I don't like, uh, eat, uh, eating to, uh, eating meat. Good. Good. And what uh, would, you, let's say they said, um, what would you like instead of meat? Uh, 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 so, uh, I can't say. <laughs> so, sometimes in Canada or in the United States, you order breakfast and you don't want to eat the meat. So, you would say something like this. There, here are some examples that we're going to go through. So, you would say something like, please, um, I would like breakfast with brown toast and scrambled eggs, but no meat. Can I please have some oh, fruit? Yes. Right? Um, yes, I can say it sometimes. Uh, yeah. In, uh, I, in uh, restaurants or coffee. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Or you could say you want fruit instead or a salad instead. Because they, they may charge you, if you say no meat, they may charge you the same price. So you're still buying the meat, but you're not getting the meat. So you can get something instead. Do you understand? Mm. Uh, yes, I understand, but I can't uh, speak. I can't talk. <laughs> no, don't say. Don't, never um. say I can't. Always say I will try. Oh, uh, <laughs> I I know yeah. British English. I learned. <laughs> oh my Sorry. gosh, you're doing great, Kubra. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so can we please get um. Let's say Elena and um, let's do Elena and Vincente. How is your background noise? Uh, I think, uh, can you hear now? Is it better? It is better, yes. Okay, so let's do Elena and Vincente. Can you please read these one at a time? Now, we'll start with Elena. You can start with I am lactose. I am lactose intolerance, so please hold the button on my on my to ask. On my toast. Ah, toast. Ah, uh, toast. I'm yes. Lacto I'm lactose intolerant, so please hold the button on my on my toast. 
Exactly. So what does that mean to hold something? Uh, to hold, uh, have something or put something. So to, if, you, if in English that is an expression or what we call an idiom. Mm -hmm. to, so if you ever say hold on the butter, you, that would mean don't put the butter on. So you can just hold it back there. You don't yes. need to give it to me. Because being lactose intolerant means you can't drink milk or any yes. kind of mm -hmm. milk products. Mm -hmm. Is anyone here lactose intolerant? Does anyone here have an allergy to milk? You cannot drink milk? No. No? no. no. Okay. Thanks, God. No. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Are I like milk. <laughs> Imagine wine without cheese. Oh, imagine pizza without cheese. My cows, oh my, my God. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, okay, so let's go back to Vincente. Let's start with I. What it, uh, first? Let's do a vocabulary uh, question. What does it mean to be a vegetarian? Not eat meat. People doesn't eat People meat. Doesn't Exactly. Exactly. So, Vincente, can you start with I am a vegetarian? Okay. I am a vegetarian. So, may I please have some fruits instead of meat with my eggs? Great. So, that was what I was telling to Kubra. She said sometimes she doesn't like meat. So, she could say, may I please have some fruit instead of meat? Actually, actually I think it uh, be... Uh, Mm, vegetarian. <laughs> you are a vegetarian? <laughs> no, uh, I uh, think uh, uh, be vegetarian. Oh, so you you would say I am thinking of being. Oh yes, I am thinking of yes. Yeah, so try that sentence. I'm thinking of being a vegetarian. I am thinking uh, of uh, eating uh, uh, be yeah. a vegetarian. Perfect, perfect. So that it's probably a healthy choice. <laughs> okay, um, if you ever say you want to substitute something, substitute is the same thing as change. Substitute mm -hmm. equals change. So or exchange. So you would say, I would like to substitute whatever. It could be, could I please exchange my salad for fruit? You want to see, you see something on the menu and you can change it so that it suits you. Okay? Yes. Any, qu any questions about that? It's no? okay. So far, so good. Okay. So now for the rest of the, uh, for the class, I, I think we can probably skip those last two. But... For the next rest of the class, I want you to look at this menu. I'm going to give you two minutes, and I want you to tell me two things that you're going to order. You're going to say this to me. You're going to order for yourself, and then you're going to order for somebody who you're eating with. So you will say, hi, I will have order your breakfast, and my friend will have something else, and you will order for them. So I'm just going to give you a minute or two and um, to look at these menus, okay? And ask me questions if you don't know what's on them. Mm -hmm. I want to say, uh, uh, for example, uh, I, uh, I hate... Uh, Sorry, I have eaten uh, in a restaurant uh, with my uh, friend today, and uh, uh, hmm? uh, we uh, we have eaten uh, pizza uh, yeah. uh, uh, together. Mm -hmm. uh, also, <laughs> yep, that is correct. So you're trying to tell me that earlier today you ate pizza. Right? Yes. Yeah, yes. and that was perfect. That was good. That was really good. You're using your different tenses, I can see. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so who's ready? Who can go first? 
Who's ready to order from me? Uh, how would you like to start? Okay, great, Andre. So, hi there, sir. What can I get for you today? Uh, we have uh, two, two eggs with your ram, bacon, or sauces. Uh, can you say that one more time? Two eggs with ram, bacon, or sausage. Two eggs with ham, bacon. The first one. First. Oh, I see. Okay, and what kind of meat would you like with that? Uh, for me, cheese omelette with toast. Okay, great. And you said you wanted the eggs with ham, bacon, or sausage. So what kind would you like? It's ham, bacon, or sausage. The first one. So you want ham. Ham. That, yeah, so you would say, can I please get two eggs with ham, and how do you like your eggs, and what kind of toast do you like? Uh, 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 how would you like to order two eggs with ham? What kind of eggs? Do you want them scrambled or fried? Uh, scrambled, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Good. And what kind of toast? White, brown, or, or rye? Rye. Rye? Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's move on to Elena. Are you ready? Yes. What would um, you like to eat today? I like to eat cheese omelette with toast. Good, and what kind of toast would you like? Um, rye toast. Rye toast, great. And would you like anything to drink with that? Um, uh, a soda. You'll have a soda? soda? Yeah, that's good. Yes. And other things that you eat for breakfast might be a coffee. Coffee? Yes, coffee. Or meal. orange juice. Yes, because here in Argentina that's, that, food is, uh, that food is not typical to breakfast. Oh, of course. That would be lunch. Yes. We right, eat bread or cookies uh, with coffee and milk or tea or mate here in Argentina. It's oh. Nicolas Snow, obviously. <laughs> Good, gotcha, good. Um, okay, and Julianne. Julianne. Hello. Hi, what would you like to eat today? Uh, I, I like, uh, I like uh, two eggs scramble uh, with, with bacon and white toast. Perfect, and what would you like to drink? Uh, chocolate. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Good. Very creative. And uh, would you like to order anything for your friend today? And my friend one uh, eat uh, omelette with ham and and tomato and onions. Good. 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 Complimentary. Complim Did you say complimentary? <laughs> so that's funny. Sergio was saying he wants it complimentary. Do you know what complimentary means? Uh, I yeah. don't know. Complimentary. For free. For free. free. Uh, uh. So, <laughs> so let's say I'm your cook. I'm your cook, and I dropped a hair, a piece of hair of, from my head into your food, and you started eating, and you found the hair in your food, and you said, ew, God, somebody's hair is in my food, right? You would probably get your meal complimentary, which means you would get the meal for free. Does that, okay, does that okay. make sense? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, Thanks. thank you very much, Julianne. And Kupra, what would you like to eat today? Uh, I, I, I say, I say it. Uh, uh, I uh, we had uh, we had eaten uh, pizza with my friend <laughs> together, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. I want to say, uh, say uh, 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 when I was a child, um, I was a bit fat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I lost weight while in a high school uh, two uh, uh, two class uh, in two class uh, grade uh, grade ten or high something school, uh, mm -hmm. ten kilos uh, I high school oh wow uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, my uh, sentence is right. Uh, uh, I I want to learn it. Yep. No. No. Everything was good. It just I'm trying to get a little quicker with it. So less ah uh, ahs and more fluent. But everything was pretty good. So I used to be. Uh, but instead of saying fat, you would say used overweight. To be. Used to be. For yeah. example, I uh, used to be uh, fat uh, uh, when I was a child. Um, so it's probably better to say overweight because sometimes the word fat, sometimes some people think it's rude. So you can just say overweight. It, it's not polite. Sometimes, sometimes it's not polite, especially if you're talking to someone else. Ah, okay. So if you're saying, oh, this girl, she, it would be very rude to say, that girl, she was very fat. It, but it's, okay, it's more okay to say, oh, you know, she was overweight. That, that's okay, okay, but it's not, it's not good to call a person, even yourself, sometimes fat. It's better to say oh. overweight. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to move on, though, to Nicholas. Nicholas, what would you like to eat today? Yes, um, I will have uh, three pancakes with maple, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah, so I don't, try. I don't know what is it, but. Maple syrup yeah. is. Um, maple syrup comes from a tree. Trees in Canada. It's called uh, ah. maple syrup because it comes from maple trees. Ah, okay. okay. Right? Yes, yes. And it's really good. <laughs> Good. And what would you like to drink? Um, I would like uh, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Sure. No problem. Coming right up. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And what about Shafi? Shafi? Yeah. What would you like to eat today? What kind of breakfast? Cheese mm, omelette with, with uh, toast. And what kind of toast would you like? What kind of toast? If you order toast, it would be white toast white, or white, white, white toast? White, white okay. Toast, yeah. uh. Sure. And would you like to order anything for your for your niece or for your daughter or son? Would you like to order anything for someone else? Mm, milk, One more thing. Uh, milk regular or chocolate? Um, well, I was going to say if you could you, do you want to order anything for your friend or something? Mm, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we'll move on. That's okay. And Sergio, Sergio, what would you like to eat today? Okay, uh, I would like your mm, two eggs with ham. Mm hmm. Uh, bacon, well done, please. Mm hmm. And for drink, uh, white coffee. White coffee? Yeah. Oh, we don't have white coffee. We have black coffee. Oh, just black coffee. Yeah, black coffee. That that works. And how would you like your eggs cooked? A tear instead, of, please. Sorry, what was that? So one more time. A tear, a cup of tea instead of uh, coffee. Um, I'm sorry. You said a couple of tears instead of coffee. Uh a tea, actually. Yeah. Oh, a tea, a tea. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Good. And um, what? Uh, what? How would you like your eggs cooked? Mm, so hot. <laughs> you want them hot? Do you want them fried, scrambled, poached? <laughs> no, no. Just, uh, just eat. So, if you were at a restaurant, they would ask you how you want them to cook it. So how would you want those cooked? Remember those pictures? Okay. Oh, somebody's got some background noise going. I don't know who that is. Um, okay, that's good, Sergio. And finally, Vincente, what would you like to eat today? Uh, hello, Lauren. Today, I'd like to eat 
uh, meat with scrambled eggs, please. Scrambled eggs, good. And what kind of toast would you like? Well, Sorry. I, no toast. No toast. No toast. Good, good. That's really good. You're modifying your meal. What would you like instead of toast? Um, maybe cereal. Maybe cereal. Great. Good, good. Good. Okay, so everyone has done so, so, so well. I'm so happy that I got to meet all of you for our class. Um, feel free to check out my Facebook page um, and leave me comments. Any comment is um, so appreciative. So appreciated. So appreciated. <laughs> uh, everybody is hungry now. Everybody's yes. hungry. I'm very sorry. Um, yes. I, I can stay for a minute if anybody would like to ask me any questions about this menu. But if you need to leave right now, that's okay. We can say goodbye to you. Bye. Bye. Does bye, bye. Have, bye. Does anyone have any questions? Any more questions about this? Yes, I, uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what what is the is the no questions. Is the difference in between toast brown and toast dried? So if you go back to that Google Drive, uh, you'll see pictures, different pictures. So sometimes the bread is going to look white, and other times it has more grains in it. Uh, okay. So and like seeds and different things. So many grains and uh, less processed. So. Okay. The white has been bleached, so it's not very healthy, and the brown bread is more healthy, more good for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No. Are we good? It's okay. so far so good. I'm so happy this went well. Um, yeah, again, check out my Facebook page. It's um, Lauren Verbling, and that's my page. And um, I'll see you next class. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.